Good morning. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you. Well, today I'm here with Ms. Frazier for National Women's Month. So, Ms. Frazier, what influenced you to become a teacher? I, I think my uh, Peter Pan type of personality, I just feel as though I never grow up. I always enjoy the youth and the things that they bring uh, and teach me. So, it, it was just one of those things. We just have a natural bond, me and the youth. So, when did you start teaching at Overton? Um, actually, I started teaching at Overton three years ago, but I've been a teacher for about 12 years now. Um, so it was one of those decisions um, that I was very excited about being at a performance arts school. Um, was very different, and so when I moved from Knoxville, they offered me the job, and I was very excited to join. So, Ms. Fred, what stopped you from not wanting to give up on in school? Um. I just had a goal, and once I set my mind on a goal, then I'm going to accomplish well, it. Thank you, Ms. Frazier. Thank you. I enjoy being with you all for this Women's History. And tune in with us at OvertonHS.net. Me llamo Evi, Kirk McMurray. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. I'm Evie Grant, here with Ms. Moore. I'm here to ask her a couple of questions. Hey, Ms. Moore. Hello. How long have you been working at Overton? I have been at Overton. This will be my first year. What is your ethnicity? Um, I am from Mexico. Yes, I was born in Mexico and I moved here when I was about four years old. If you didn't teach Spanish, what would you have to um, Well, I've asked myself that question many a times and honestly I can't see myself doing anything else. So it always just falls back to teaching. What college did you attend? Um, I went to Mississippi State University. Why did you decide to teach Spanish? Because I wanted to make a difference and I knew that teaching, I would get many opportunities to do that. What's the best part of your job? Um, I love um, being able to see the students change and mature into um, mature adults. And um, I love helping, helping them and motivating them. Adios. Adios. Adios.
I'm Jasmine Allen, and I'm here with Miss Mars Lake to celebrate National Women's Day. So, Miss Mars, why did you become a teacher? Well, I became the teacher that I really needed when I was a freshman in high school. How long have you been teaching? 24 years. What have you learned from the past about women getting unfair treatment by men? I've learned it really is time to speak up as a woman. Um, would you like to change the way society views women? Yes. Um, yes, I do. I believe that we've been told for years that we have equal rights, but it's about time that we stand up for them. So exactly what does it mean to you to be a woman? To be strong in the face of all adversity. My last and final question is, what advice would you give me as a young lady um, who is being raised in this society today? To when you face those moments where you feel like things are not okay, if you don't get the answer you want the first time, keep asking. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching WHS TV. Stay tuned and don't forget, hashtag March for Women. Yeah. Overton family, Overton alumnus Oviante Maxby made it to the semifinals for CBS Boston and he needs our vote. Simply go to celebrationofmusic.com backslash Boston dash MA dash contestants, select Oviante's picture and then submit your votes.